She didn't reply. Oh. Now I'm sad. <laughs> now I'm sad. Okay. All right. Well, it, at least everything is right. I hope. Probably. No more do-overs. No more mulligans. Yeah. Having fun yet, Lorax? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is great. <laughs> Anyone's thinking about running a tournament, it is a lot more work than you might think. Yeah, I mean, IEM and WCS and MLG, they, they make it look easy. Here, we show you the real thing. That's right, right? I think that's right. Ugh. Next time I have the bright idea to have six different language streams, remind me of this moment. <laughs> no, it's good. Just... It's good. It takes a little extra work, but lots of people get to see, and that's okay saying that. That's true. Sort of true. Here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Down here in the Bottom left of Whirlwind. From Parts Unknown, the Cyan Protoss. She is Slendus. And up in the Aw. Well, that sucks. What? One of my hotkeys doesn't work anymore with Game Heart Light. Oh, good. And up here in the top left, from Sydney College 8 StarCraft, the Pink Zerg, she is Livy B. But you know that Follow Unit does work in this, though. I do know that. What button is Follow Unit? Uh, for me, it's Control Alt F, I believe. Control Alt F. Wait, Control Alt F. That's not it. Or, well, it'd be Control different for you. Shift F. There we go. It's always shift. Alright, so let's follow this overlord using the awesome power of control shift F. Yeah, for some reason they removed that from like normal cast. Not sure why. Because you have to remove fun stuff. Alright, a little bit of a hiccup there. Huh. Odd. But you get All 15 right. people in a room, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Spawning pool goes good. down first. Which is actually a little surprising on Whirlwind, but... Well, she does have... The spawning pool went down um, to deal with exactly Yeah, this. after the pylon. Makes perfect sense. Uh, and it looks like we're going to go for a quick third... Well, a, a base over here at the third. Ah, uh, but the pylon is cancelled. Yep, and... Livy be making a beeline for that. And Got it. There we go. She does get it. But Windier this... is slowing down game. Hmm. Gotta love that. And that probe is just gonna keep working away at that hatchery for a moment and then bail. Queen is on the way though. So we'll have to see what is Salendis going to do. I'm really I'm really kinda curious. I'm curious as to what Livy Bee's gonna do, because that obviously that roach attack did not work out so hotly. Last game. Yeah. I think we probably are going to see a little bit more of a traditional play out of Livy B. Um, however, she, I mean, this is her map pick, so. Um... I have no idea what that means. I don't know. Moving on. Yeah, moving on. So Ling's moving across the uh, this map here. Going to go with Scout. Does know where um, her opponent is located at this point. So what I was saying is... Um, yeah, she's scouting around, gonna take a third hatch here um, in much more sort of normal ZVP fashion here. So gonna be getting that three base economy and um, just moving up to try to um, get that good economy rolling that so many Zerg players favor over Protoss. Yeah, and this is a map where you can really do it quickly. Uh, the gateway expand going to pretty much let that go and punish for the time being. We'll see exactly how many gateways Salendus opts for here. Uh, did we ever find out who Salendus is or, or, or which ship she piloted? Did, I did not. Did we? No, we never found that out. By the way, I never noticed this. Nexi warp ins are so pretty before they turn into this giant blue ball. You know, the little, the little warp hole, the rift in yeah, time yeah. and space. 
Those are awesome. Alright, and just the one gas gonna come down for Livy B and a Roach Warren with it. So yeah, this is... this is pretty standard against uh, gateway expands. There is another gateway down. I'm gonna wait until these things die down, and we are gonna see a four gate expand here. Oh, so this geez. Is the, uh, the dreaded Naniwa four gate uh, type build. There is a probe hiding ever so gracefully over here in the corner, gonna proxy pylon. So. Uh, it's going to be a few waves of zealots, and back behind this, this is a uh, stargate. So four gateways and a stargate. So what my guess is going to happen if we if this follows sort of standard meta is we'll probably see uh, sort of somewhere in the order of eight zealots warped in here, and then we will see an oracle harass happen slightly after that, um, hoping to catch the zerg player off guard yeah. and uh Libby Libby B, yeah she's uh droning hard here and has not scouted this yet there is an overlord in the main but i don't know if she's seen yeah she's not seen all the extra production she's the front expecting there, so. a stargate she's throwing down two spore crawlers which is right if she survives the first attack which is uh pretty much bearing down on her now she does have her roach warren which is a good thing uh roach is definitely going to be needed to help hold off this uh this little push here but she doesn't really have any production. She's got two in four in production, and thankfully they're all in the correct hatchery. I, I don't know if that was an actual decision yeah, or no, just Yeah, no, that was that was 100% intentional. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're all coming out of that hatchery. Ling's here to help uh, try to clean this up. More zealots being warped in back behind this. Yeah, not so bad. With roaches here, this is going to be uh, reasonable for them to hold if they can get any sort of good micro micro away that wounded roach. Uh, not the best here. Clean and not, more roaches coming, but there are a lot of zealots still here. Yeah, and, just uh, not enough just roaches. Zealots. Yeah, it's so hard, especially with this time warp. That mothership core is just raining down punishment as well. I think she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna lose the hatchery. Yeah, definitely gonna lose this queen, and um, gonna have to regroup a little bit. Um, perhaps uh, just take this uh, lost third as an acceptable loss and regroup up into her main because there are a lot of zealots here, and. Uh, that's uh, going to be a push that endangers the main as well. So two more overlords coming out, and <laughs> one is, last zealot going back. That is a so lot of zealots. Yeah. That is a lot of wow. Okay, yeah, now I'm starting to really get worried. Roaches or no roaches, this is a lot of zealots. Yeah, there are probably enough roaches to deal with this. Spore is going to make work of that mothership spore, but it has been kited away. Great choke here, going to do wonders for these uh, roaches in trying to take these zealot numbers down, but not before uh yeah, I mean so many of these roaches pretty are... significant drone losses here. I mean my god that the, the zealot numbers just don't stop and I mean they're going toe to toe with roaches and actually training out really effectively. This is uh this is this is surprising, this is shocking, this is this is weird. I mean how many workers yeah. have been killed only five workers have been killed. Uh make that yeah, six several several queens here, lots of lots of workers the uh, other third that Libby B is trying to take here desperately back behind this is um, going to fall. It's going to need to be canceled from these zealots. And uh, roaches are just going to go out and try to clean out these... Uh, oh islands. my god, it's not going to get canceled! Oh, oh, it does nice. get canceled at the last moment. Drone's <laughs> going to try to escape with its life. But this is going to be a, a pretty tough climb back for Libby B back into this game here. As uh, we see... File reconstitution coming speed for roaches, and uh, since this uh, push was so successful, usually if you see the, the push not quite as successful as that, you will see the oracles as we spoke with before, but um, if the push does succeed, usually you see void rays come out, and that's exactly what we've seen. So my guess is we uh, we see a uh, defense here. The VP's going for the counterattack, and you know what, if she gets the Stargate, that might be a... Uh, that's pretty... Oh, jeez. Walks yeah, in here. with a bunch of sentries. On both sides here, so yeah, she's got to kill off that roaches. Stargate. She's got to kill that off to make this even remotely worthwhile. Oh god, a lift up on a Phoenix. A Phoenix was made and she's not going to get the Stargate. She's going to try and yeah, go toe to toe no, with the army. Not. Yeah, unfortunately the production back behind this is just uh, totally on par with where it needs to be. These roaches are going to have to uh, fall back if they choose to push forward. Good force fields going back, trapping some of these roaches, and... Well, I mean, they're going to trade out... Roaches are going to trade out for a lot of these sentries. Which is, which is a win, sort of. It's it's like a Pyrrhic victory kind of win. Yeah, I don't know if we necessarily call it a 
win. Roaches are not going to do too much against the army that's coming out. There is a immortal here, and of course with the Void Race, it's going to be very tough, but uh, Livy P is going to have her work cut out for her trying to hold this third. It's the third finally just finished, and uh, this queen is going to try to shoo away some of these units, but there comes the, the, the pressure yet again, and by losing all those Roaches, Livy P just does not have too much back behind us. No, that was a reckless... I feel that was just a reckless counterattack that it's, it's it just isn't gonna work out here. Roaches with Roach speed are good, but now there's an immortal in this mix as well. Some queens. The the, the hatchery is going to fall. Uh, oh, the hatchery should. Fall. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! No, the hatchery should fall. The hatchery has to well, fall. No. I don't know. No. I, I'm gonna guess. I mean. I mean, it's gotta I'm fall. Four will go down here. There's not much. To Void ray yeah, that's the thing. The Void Ray is going to finish it off. Respect void the Void Ray. ray. Yes. Respect the Void Rays. And uh, plus one ground weapon is going to finish up very soon, which is going to make this even more nightmarish for Livy B. And now, meanwhile, more from this back pylon, just going straight into the natural Livy B. Lots of roaches in production, some hydras, but her economy is in shambles at the moment and it looks like Solandis is moving out to take a third back behind this. So yeah, she things didn't are even, not looking good. She didn't even need, really need it. I, ah, Livy B was in such a position to defend that four gate and it just, it, it seemed like the, ro the, the roaches were weaker than normal roaches or the zealots were just playing stronger than normal zealots. I, maybe roaches they just weren't enough links to buffer. that that well against Zealots, if the Zealots can get up close on them. The Roach's strength against the Zealots is their ability to kite them here, as Livy is doing, but um, without that, uh, Zealots actually are, uh, they're pretty scary to any of the uh, Tier 1 Zerg units here, and Livy B just microing her heart out now, just trying to get any use that immortal with one here hit comes point. that Oracle back behind Aww. this, and that's just going to be even more of a, a thorn in Livy B's side here, as the Zealots get back into the mineral line here. I mean, the drone count isn't as uh, as far behind as you would think, but the, just the fact that it's two base Zerg against three base. And, I mean, just look at the, the military difference. Look at the army difference. I mean, there's a couple of Hydras, which might be able to help, but the Immortal is doing such work on those Hydra lists. Yeah, these Hydras may be able to clean this up. That natural fall is all over here, but... Drones doing their part to protect us, but the drone loss is being pretty substantial. I, th I think it. I think it's just too much. I mean, even with the with these next warping of zealots, I mean, Selendus can just keep warping in round after round after round of zealots, and I don't think there's any way for Livy B to actually stabilize and really get ahead. And as I say that, she stabilizes, but she is so far behind right now. So far. I mean, where where do you go from here as Livy B? I gotta I, I gotta ask you. Um, you just try to get your economy back and uh, do as much damage with this uh, counter push as you can. We take a look at the units. There's not all that much to stand up to a pretty much pure hydralisk army here. Um. But, again, you can't sack these units because you have to make drones behind this. And there's just constant warpings of zealots here. One roach trying his heart out to go and uh, clear out these remaining proxy pylons. But just so many proxy pylons there that just making it impossible for Libby B to just claw her way back into this game. And Thermal Ant's being researched back behind this. Yeah, and, uh, Colossi would just make this so, so hard to defend. Colossi on the way hasn't put down a second robo, so no double robo, which... I think that that's definitely got to be the next step for Solendus here. The Hydra speed finishing up here, so these Hydras are going to do a little bit better trying to uh, deal with this, but there's just not enough army here. No, I mean, maybe maybe when these seven Hydras pop out, but it's it's two base and <laughs> three base Protoss. I mean, how does that work out? How does that work? <laughs> not very well. Not very well There are at all. lots of Hydras. Hydras will do pretty well against this mix, though. Hydras eat gateway, gateway units uh, 
pretty efficiently. So I like this going uh, going to straight. This is, uh, catch a lot this of is pretty good. Here. Pretty good Great fight. Force fields going down. Will lose an immortal and a few more units. So good pick up there for Livy B. That's sort of the first thing this game that has gone her way. But she's just looking to basically just do a two base uh, all in push here, just streaming units back behind us. Yeah, and uh, here we go. These force fields. Yeah. Oh, Hydra is so much. The, the force fields are just so unfair. And here we go. Colossi is now in play. Uh, with range uh, a couple seconds away, 20 seconds less than that away, and the Colossus on the map. This I is just, where did the Colossus go? It's over oh, there, there with is. the rest of the army. It's, it's hidden. There's too many units for me to see it. <laughs> the Mothership core is currently using its cloak ability. Or, or its, uh, its camouflage ability. Yep, third base going down for Livy B. And... and infestation pit, I mean... Uh, I don't know. Infestors, maybe? I mean, Infestors for Zerg are the kind of like one behind Infestation Pit. Like, you need to you need to be super cost effective. And uh, the other cost effective unit we have, Swarm Host, coming out. So she needs to use Larva on, on drones here. She's mined out in her main. Swarm Host. And just needs to trade as efficiently as possible. And it's very, it's going to be very hard to do that. Uh, Colossus, obviously, a reasonable counter to Swarm Host. Um, play and we have robos on the way, so one or two waves of uh, of locusts is not going to be are, yeah are not not going to be enough to hold this back. Now, ad admittedly, it can work the R O L if the swarm hosts don't actually walk into the army. Is there an observer with this army? I don't think there is. Don't believe so. There Force is not. going down. Blink and plus two finished ex are almost about to finish. Plus two finishes exactly as this attack goes down. Hydra's pulling the army away from the bases, which uh, which is a pretty good idea. Uh, cannot be too too aggressive with these swarm hosts though. And yeah, it's it's gonna oh be tough my god to get these into a position. Oh, oh time warp. Time warp goes down. Quickly, it's burrow. Be tough to get these into a position to, to do much. She needs to burrow in the safety of something, but there's nowhere is really safe from these ar from this army at the moment. No, with that many force fields and that many colossi, I mean, she has to burrow them now and. Yeah, she will make her final stand here. They're going to just wait for the wave of Locusts here. Colossus should be able to pick this off pretty easily. Yeah, she During needs... Locusts about to finish, but that is not going to be enough here. God, two... Like, five more Swarm Hosts, and I could see this working. Five more Swarm yeah, Hosts, no, there's I just There's just too much too much Protoss here. Three Colossus is more than enough to deal with this. Well, I mean, she's got the minerals and the larva for it. Um, uh, Pretty good, enga pretty good uh, engagement angle here. The problem with Enduring Locust, though, it also pushes back the spawn time, so Enduring Locust is actually going to hurt her more than anything else. There's still no Observer here, so the Swarm Host technically can't die, but the splash damage from the Colossi is going to start wasting them with the units on top, especially once the next wave of Locust, and actually there is an Observer here now. And that is going to be all she wrote here in Game 2. GG!